Greetings, Mad Crafters. Welcome to another tutorial with me, Madrigork. Now today, we're going to go over what I'm referring to as a universal single zero tick farm. Now you're probably thinking, um, man, what's that? Well, after seeing a whole bunch of big farms going out, kind of like mine, that was uh, 46,000 bamboo per hour, you know, Go check it out on my channel. Yeah, it's there. It's awesome. Anyway, that there's going to be other people out there that want the zero tick farm, but maybe not so big. So we're trying to look at it in a little bit smaller fashion. So I came out, come up with this design here, which I'm referring to as a universal. Now you're probably going, what do you mean by universal, Madrigort? And I'm like, okay, well, what I mean by that is that you can do use this particular zero tick farm, the small one little one little piston breaker here, no big deal. And you can use it with bamboo, sugarcane, or cactus. Any of those three you can use here and create the zero tick. So, and then we also move the controls up to the front to make it a lot easier. So we just turn it on, fire away, everything gets knocked into that hopper and collected inside this chest. So it's really cool, small and compact, just so if you want to do a little bit of each thing or whatever you want to do. So we're going to get to building this in just a second. First thing, I want to talk about bedrock and this zero tick mechanic. Now next came up with this and fine tuned it with a couple other guys, um, user 21 and another guy, a gentleman named Bean, I believe. And uh, uh, this it, it works great unless you put it right up against a chunk border that's what these red lines are chunk border and bedrock see now if that extended piston goes from one side of a chunk to another side of a chunk like it does it there this system will break every time and I'm going to demonstrate that now so if I turn this on it'll work for a second but then because it's right on this chunk border it feels like it's loading both chunks. Doesn't like it. And you give it a second, and it'll break. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, maybe it's a fluke. Let's uh, let's just put some more sand down there and see if we can uh, get this thing to work. And say, like, okay, it's all good. It's all good. Let's just try it again. We can do it. And then you're like, oh yeah, yeah, it's working. Oh, and it'll break again. So every time it'll break if that piston goes over the chunk border, just like that. So you need to really think about where you're placing any of these zero tick farms that are out there that use this technique, use this mechanic, think about it when you build it into your world and make sure that that piston, extended piston doesn't go across a chunk border. Now I have this texture pack that shows me where the chunk, chunk borders are to help me align everything. And it's easily found out there. You can go find it on the internet real easy, um, especially in for Windows uh, 10 version of Bedrock. Xbox, sorry guys, y'all gonna have to figure out a different way. But, again, you can't have it there. It'll break every time. So, with that being said, let's go over here. Let's take a look at stuff we're going to need for this build. Now, for this build, we're going to need your block of choice, a couple of sticky pistons, about three pieces of sand, about 12 pieces of redstone dust, a couple repeaters, a lever, a couple of redstone torches, one regular piston, two chests, single hopper, single block, redstone block, one stair, bucket of water, some glass, and then if so this is other blocks of choice in case if you just don't like the blue. Anyway, so to set this up, we need to look at this area like this. So it's going to be a three by ten area. So, real easy. I've got this sitting in the middle of this chunk, so I don't have any problems with my zero tick breaking on me. So, we need this 3 by 10 area. And then, on this side, we need this one piece right down here, knocked out. Right there. And this will get us going. Alright. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this sticky piston right here in my hand. We're going to go over here and we're going to place it down right there in front of the hole and then a piece of sand across from it right next to the hole and then we're going to put a piece of redstone dust 
right behind the piston and then a block behind that and then a block on top of the redstone dust and then go up two back here take out that bottom one and then we're going to place a redstone repeater right behind that block on one tick and a lever on this block go ahead and place that in the odd position you should see our piston extend that looks good and then we can go down here place a redstone torch underneath and that will be all of our clock set up. Let's give it a test. Working great, working great. Okay, let's turn that off. All right, now let's set up our collection. What we're gonna do is take a couple blocks, place them in front of the sand here, and then place a chest there and a chest there to make a double chest. And then over here, we're gonna take a hopper. Don't forget to shift. Place that on the back of the double chest. Then we're gonna take some sand we're going to place two pieces right on top of this extended piston right there and there. So that should set up our mechanic just fine. Now we're going to go over here. Now we need to set this up as a universal. Now the way we do that is we're going to use this stair in my hand and create a water source block behind that top piece of sand right there. So let's go over here and take this stair and place it right on the back side of this piece of sand just like that then we're going to take other blocks and surround that stair all the way around just like this so we can close it up for the water then get a bucket of water and then we'll waterlog that stair just like that so what this is going to do this is going to create our universal so we need that source block of water in there so we have the ability to place a piece of sugar cane over there on top of that sand. Now, let's move on, and now we're going to go into the brake circuit for this zero tick. So I'm going to place a couple of blocks right on top of here. Then on the front, I'm going to use a regular piston and place it right there. Okay, that looks good. Now, we're going to go down here. We're going to place a redstone torch on top of that block. It should go out just like that. Then place a block on top of that redstone torch and then another block in between those two from there we just take some redstone dust and put one two just like that and that should fire our piston along with the other piston for our clock just like this everything's working great looks good all right let's move on now well, let's turn this thing off okay now Let's encase this thing so we don't lose any of the items we're zero ticking. So first thing we're going to do is going to build up a wall around this piston just like so. So we go three up, three across, the other three up over on the other side. Make sure you don't put in anything down underneath that piston because we need that area open so the cactus doesn't break. So now we go down here to the bottom, place three down here on the other side. We're going to do the same thing one two and three jump back up here to the top real quick and we'll place three blocks on this side come across two and then place two more in the back for the rest of this i'm going to grab some glass cover it up in the top and then work our way around the sides to get this thing completely enclosed now you may have noticed while i'm doing this that i left a glass block out over there by the sand we're going to do the same thing over on the other side. Now the reason we are leaving that particular glass block out is because for one thing we need access in there and you can't have a full block there and a piece of cactus in there. It won't stay. So we're just going to cover everything up. Now it's all covered up and ready to go. Next thing though is I don't like this lever in the back. I want it in the front. So we're going to change that out. Can't have it. So we're going to put a block down here and then a block up here. And then right on the side of this, we're going to put an upside down sticky piston with a block of redstone underneath it. From there, we're going to go up to the top, place a block there. And then from over there, all the way across to where I want to just put down. Now we're going to get some redstone dust starting from down on the piston we're going to place it on there and then go all the way across the top to the front of the structure 
that's easy now we go back to the front I'm going to place a lever right there and go ahead and turn that on you'll see that the redstone fired up the piston went down in the back so that's all working great now let's drop down here to where the original lever was so what we're going to do so this lever over here still currently controls everything we turn it on everything goes off turn it off goes off well, let's take get rid of that and then all we got to do is pop in a redstone repeater and now our lever in the front is hooked up as an on and off switch for this zero tick farm works great and with that my friends this universal zero tick farm is all done and dusted let's go check it out and see what all it can do so let's go down here let's say I want to grow some sugar cane so I'm going to go over here play some sugar cane down right there come back up turn it on give it a second for the zero tick to kick in and then we'll soon it'll be popping off left and right there we go starting to pop off good to go now of course this will take longer but this isn't meant to be mass quantities so just getting it as needed maybe you have one of these in your trading hall whenever you're doing trading with all your villagers just so you can make some paper of them it'll work just great all right so we got enough sugar cane now so let's go over here and let's say all right i want to get some bamboo now so let's pop out that sugar cane place a bamboo come over here turn it on give it a second and voila bamboo popping off left and right so that'll work great and the last but not least we come over here we take a cactus pop off our bamboo bamboo and stick a piece of cactus right there that's why we left those sides open so it wouldn't break you turn this on you can give it a second and then you'll have cactus popping off and it'll still generate better than it will in nature so you can have these at like one of your um, like a wool farm or maybe you have a store where you sell dyes and you can have this to where you can create new dyes you can have this funnel directly into a furnace so you can go ahead and smelt it into dye why it's why it's zero ticking it'll work great so let's turn that off the last suggestion I have is maybe go ahead and place some item frames here on the front and then you can place the, each one of the items right here in the frames so you always have them available in case for some reason you take everything out of the chest so looks good looks great works works wonders all right now so just make sure you watch your chunk borders when you build this and with that being said i'm glad you joined me thanks for coming out and watching the tutorial if you liked it please leave a like if you haven't subscribed please jump over to my channel and subscribe i've got a lot of more good tutorials and Let's Play Fun coming up in the future. So please subscribe. Thanks for coming out. Catch you later.